Hey, this is John Young. Today we're looking at a little keychain flashlight here from Wubin. This is the G2 from Wubin. It can be found out at uh, flashlightbrand.com. Now, this little keychain flashlight's a little bit different than traditional. Usually, we've been seeing these where it has a little LED on this at the end, and you get that point brightness thing going on. This has it, uh, the light on the side. It's giving us more of a flood. It's getting about 180 degree coverage compared to a little beam that goes up. Little USB-C charging. You got a little cable that comes with it. It also has a little clip in here in the, the kit. So it can be attached to like a zipper pull uh, as it is right now or your keychain. And then on the very bottom where the, the light would connect to your keychain, you can actually pivot this and turn this and take this off for a kind of a quick detach if you had on your your uh, zipper. Then this bottom is magnetic. So you can attach it to a, a metal surface and have it so you can shine that light in a variety of different ways for ease of use. Now when you get into these little keychain lights, one of the big things is, is brightness. How bright is this? This is a 500 lumen is what it's advertised as. It's really kind of seriously bright if you have it on a bright setting. To get the right setting, there's a little power button and then you've got your charging port. You double press the power button and it comes on. Now that's really, really bright. I want to show you compared to my iPhone 11 here. This is my iPhone 11. You can see how it's shining up on my face. Now this is on high. You see that it's like on the high setting, it's like four times as bright as the iPhone 11. It's really, really bright. Now that was that was achieved by pushing it click, click. So we'll just shut it off. Now if we push and hold it, it comes into the low setting. And then as we continue to push and hold it, you can see it starts to cycle through. There's actually five different brightness levels on this. And on that very low setting, and that's the one that we're going to be seeing here in just a second, a very low, they call this moonlight setting. It's very dim but it will last a long, long time with that. I'm not interested in a low setting. Let's talk about that high setting. This is where we're probably going to use it most of the time because this has got some incredible distance. Let's take a look at this picture. In the very first picture here, you'll see this is that moonlight setting. You can see on the very bottom a little bit, there's a little glow, but other than that, this is done at about 5.30 in the morning here in Minnesota. The sun was starting to come up in the horizon. The camera had adjusted for the darkness, so it doesn't seem to be quite as dark, but it was pretty dark. And you see a little bit of light at the very bottom of this photo. Now we go to the next photo. And you can see the seconds after this first photo was taken. The second one, you can see this light on high is shining across to the trees that are about, that tree is probably about 60 feet away. And you can see that glowing or the, the illumination on that tree and everything around the area. And again, this has got about 180 degree of of light coverage here. And you can see how bright that is on that wall. And I wanna show you one more time. Let's turn on the iPhone. There's mm -hmm. there's the iPhone. You take you can kind of see it the, a little bit, but you can definitely see that there is really no comparison between the two when it comes to lights from the between the phone and its little keychain. Now, the one big thing you're going to ask is, okay, it gets really bright. What kind of a battery life will it have? That was a test I wanted to do. So we took this, charged it all up, ran it on high for the whole whole time, and we got 30 minutes of, of run time on that on high, which is actually pretty impressive considering the size of the unit. Then we put the charger on it, and it took about an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. It was I got an hour and 15, and then it was registering that it was full. It says in the instructions that it takes an hour and a half, but it charged up pretty quickly. So you get 30 minutes of runtime on high with this unit. Now the problem because is a lot of these little lights have been kind of overclocked to make it so the LED is brighter and that causes a lot of heat. So again, during that 30 minutes, I would turn it on and I was going and checking it every few minutes about, okay, how warm is it? And it did get warm. It didn't get hot. It got warm to the point where it's like, ooh, on a winter day, this would be kind of nice. But it never got hot to the point where if I was holding it while it was on high, that I would be like, oh, this is too hot. You know, I have to set it down. It didn't get that warm. So even if you're having kids use this, this isn't going to get hot to burn little fingers. It should be something that they could use if they needed to safely and without too much concern with that LED being that hot and the whole thing being that, that warm. 
And of course, if you were concerned about that, you go to one of the other four settings for the light brightness, you, know, you turn it on, and then you go and you can cycle through, and you still have a lot of light coming through this at a lower one. It's gonna last longer, and it's not gonna get as warm. Again, it doesn't get hot, it just got warm. We'll put a link in the description so you can go check this out. Again, this is the Wubin G2. You can find this on, on the links below here. You can go to flashlightbrand.com, or you can find it out on Amazon. A lot of different places to get these, and these are really cool little lights, and I think it would be a great option for the upcoming holiday season.